Good afternoon. Uh, just finished painting the figures for the first regiment of Union troops um, by Perry Miniatures. They're the plastics. Now, I posted a picture on my Facebook page a couple of days ago, and quite a few people have asked me what the the, the colours I was using. So rather than write out individually, I thought I'd make a quick bid. Um, the the whole idea behind this uh, project is to get the troops on the table in the quickest of time. Uh, so therefore, I'm not going to be using the triad painting technique on uniforms and equipment. I'll save that for the flesh tones, which um, will get will hopefully give the figures a lift. Um, the so the idea is to paint them all at the same time, 30 fig, 36 figures at the same time using the, the, the conveyor method. Um, so working from black undercoat, I spray a black undercoat on and then that automatically gives you the colour of the, the, the shoes or boots, the webbing, haversacks and the kepi peak. So all of a sudden you're down to paint those colours. Um, then what I'll do, I'll fill in the base coats, base colours, then apply a army painter, dark tone wash um, it's a for the darker blues and lighter blues the darker tone is best because it's more blackish whereas the strong tone is more brown and that doesn't look too good with, with blues I, I found um, so the colors themselves in fact before I start uh, going to that I'll just show you what I have done I made a bit of a faux pas so that I just flagged them up and realized I put two stars and bars which is a bit annoying so I'm busily painting out another one um, concentrate must concentrate so to the blues themselves uh, the the jacket the the pictures I've seen the paintings I've seen and the reenactors it's a very dark blue so I went for dark Prussian blue by Vallejo and the trousers, I originally thought I'd go for Deep Sky Blue by Vallejo. Then I realised, no, it's, it's, it's not that light a, a colour. Um, in the Troiani book, one of the Troiani books, you can see that blue there, like a mid-blue. So what I did, there's some lovely pictures in here. Is that one I just saw just now. That one there again, you can see the blues there. They're, they're not sky blue, are they? Um, so I went for, bear in mind, I would take into account the, the wash over the top. I went for Andrea blue. So when you get the dark tone over the top, that tones it down a little bit. Um, we end up, end up something like that. So once the the dark tone washes dried, I'll then just um, do a bit of dry brushing on the um, on the figures. Nothing too much. There's another one. We've got to sort this light out. And uh, so a dry brushing on the trousers work was in fact this kind of deep sky blue just a little just bring out the folds uh, and the creases and just a bit of white added to the Prussian blue for the for the jackets and the, the equipment got a dry brush of dark sand uh, and uh, along with the the bedrolls it doesn't look too bad um, but let's say um, I want to get this project up and running and being plastics I don't want to go into the triad uh, painting method uh, for equipment, the, the, the three colours on the musket barrels and all this sort of thing, I just want to get them done, So, I'll t but I'll take more time in the flesh tones. And the flesh tones I've changed from my normal uh, method, which I've stuck with for quite some time, a few years. I, th I thought it was getting a little bit, um, bit too salmon pink. And so, so instead, of my usual 
I've gone for a base coat of red leather. Let's see if you can see a bit of where's that officer gone? Um, so I should have organised all this. You might have to see the flesh tones better there. A base coat of red leather, a mid tone of medium flesh tone, and then a highlight of sunny skin tone. You can see those three there. It's quite a gradual. It's quite a gradual difference there. And at the end, I'll dot dot and spot with ivory for the nose. Yeah, you know, dot the nose, chin, and two cheekbones. And I'm, I'm quite pleased with how it looked. Um, whether I'll stick with it or not, I'll go back to the other one. I don't know, but but I am um, I'm happy with those. So onto the basing now, and the basing I'm going to use will be the side of the basing will be a 45 mil by 40 mil base, which um, ties in with all the um, Grand Manor units. My one of the lads at the the gym, at the club, my War Games club, um, has. And it's what are my Napoleonics, are, my 36 man Napoleonic units are based on. But um, being black powder, I might just, I might have put five to a base possibly, some fours. Not because um, I wanted to lessen the amount of figures in the unit because I do like uh, uh, the large looking units but with some of these other ones these are some that um, Sean sent me they're the bayonets and um, are very horizontal so I'm going to have to be a bit careful because I want to be able to stack them up into columns uh, so I'm going to have to move them around the bases a little bit whether I can get 36 men advancing so they can form a column if needs be um, I'll have to see, or snip the bayonets off, that might be an idea. So I hope that helps with the the, the covers. Um, I'm looking forward to getting this lot based up. Can't believe I did that. Uh, anyway, once again, thanks for watching.